Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're gonna work on percent. So let's get Charlie out. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah, we're doing your favorite subject, and that's percents. Whew. That's right, here we go, right there. All right, Charlie, now remember this. A percent is simply a part per hundred. So what does 3% mean? It means three per 100. So it's a ratio of three to 100. So we can write it as a fraction three over 100. Now, three hundredths, how do you write that as a decimal, Charlie? 0 0.03, very nice. And so, here's a visual representation to help you remember how to change a percent to a fraction and then to a decimal, watch. Here we go, Charlie. Notice we have 3%, so we put three on top over 100. There we go, so hopefully you'll remember that. Now, to write it as a decimal, notice it's three over 100, which means three divided by 100, right? So Charlie, which way does a decimal move when you divide by 100? Left two times. That's right, two times. And so there it is, 0 0.03. That's three hundredths. So therefore, to change a percent to a decimal, Charlie, move the decimal left two times since you were dividing by 100. So that's go, going from a percent to a decimal. So what happens, Charlie, when we go from a decimal to a percent? Move to the right two times. That's right, we move it to the right two times since we're multiplying by 100. Okay, and so here's our decimal, 0 0.03. We're going to multiply by 100, so we move it to the right two times, and we get 3%, right? That makes sense, because if you take 0 0.03 times 100, remember, 0 0.03 is 3 hundredths, and if you multiply by 100, the hundredths are canceling out, and so obviously you get 3, but because we multiply it by 100, we note that it's a percent. So there you go. So, to change a decimal to a percent, Charlie, move it to the right to go from a percent to decimal, move it to the left. Go home and write a rap song or something. That'll help you remember this. Anyway, Charlie, let's do a problem now. Here we go. Write each percent as a decimal and a reduced fraction. So 13%, Charlie, we're gonna write it as a decimal, so we move it which way? To the left, two times. That's right, two times, and we get 0 0.13 13 hundredths. Makes sense. And so as a fraction, 13% is 13 over 100, that's 13 hundredths. There you go, that's it. Let's do another one. Now don't get scared. 120%, Charlie. To move it, change it to a decimal, we move the decimal which way? Left. That's right, and so we end up with 1.20. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, to write it as a fraction, what do we do, Charlie? Over 100. That's right, and so we have 120 over 100. Now, you have your calculator, so divide top and the bottom by 20 and you should end up at six over five. You can first divide by 10, and then again divide by two, and you should end up with six over five. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, here we go, 16.5%. I'm sorry, 17.5%. I get distracted, keep it down over there, Charlie. <laughs> okay, to write it as a decimal, move the decimal which way? Left. That's right, and we end up with 0 0.175. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, to write it as a fraction, notice, Charlie, we put 17.5 over 100. Now, that's not our answer. The first thing we have to do is clear that decimal by multiplying top and the bottom by 10, right? Because 17.5 times 10 becomes what, Charlie? 175. That's right, and 100 times 10 is 1,000. And now, with our calculator, we can divide top and the bottom by 25. And what do we get, Charlie? 7 over 40. Very nice there, Charlie, very good. All right, let's move on. Now, write each quantity as a percent. Now, don't get scared. Here's 0 0.25, it's a decimal. How do we change a decimal to a percent, Charlie? Move it right two times. That's right, move it to the right two times because you're multiplying by 100 and we get 25%. Here's another decimal, Charlie, 1.374. What do we do? Move it to the right two times. That's right, and we end up with 137.4 percent. There we go, Charlie. Now, five eighths. Don't get scared. Now, when you have a fraction, the first thing we're going to do is change it to a decimal. By doing what, Charlie? Divide. 
That's right. And take out your calculator. You get 0 0.625. And now we move the decimal. Which way, Charlie? The right two times. Very nice there. That's 62.5%. Oh, what fun. Here we go, Charlie. Now we have the number two. That is just too good. Anyway, Charlie, now what do we do? Right two times. That's right. Move the decimal two places to the right. So here we need to put the zeros as placeholder. And so we get 200%. And that is our answer. That's it. All right, Charlie, don't get scared. Here we have seven thirteenths. Now here we're going to have to use some rounding off. We're going to round off the nearest ten thousandths. That's four decimal places. So take seven and divide by 13, Charlie. And what do you get? 0 0.538461577. That's right. And so round it to the nearest 10 thousands. That's 0 0.5385. There you go, Charlie. Now, what do we do with the decimal? Move right. That's right. So that gives us 53.85%. And notice our percentage is rounded to the nearest hundredths. Very nice there, Charlie. So that's a good introduction to percents. Let's Keep on going. We'll see you again soon.